Hi guys, Mr. Sonnenberg here. Uh, today we're going to be talking about lenses and this is for science aid students studying light and optical systems. You'll find this information in a topic four of your textbook to help you out. Uh, the specific outcome we're going to be dealing with is I understand how real images are formed using a double convex lens and I can predict how the image will change if I move the position of the lens. So let's dive right into it. So, what is a lens? Okay, so what is a lens? So I, I've drawn a picture right here of some glasses. Now glasses have a lens right here that helps us uh, uh, focus on images and it's due to imperfections in our eyeballs uh, with regards to where the lens actually refracts the image onto our retina. Sometimes the image is, uh, is focused short of the retina and sometimes it's focused behind the retina so cause of near fire, nearsightedness and farsightedness and so these lenses actually correct that focal point. And we'll talk about as we go through and we'll talk a little bit about the eyeball not in this screencast but in the next we'll compare the eyeball to a camera but right now we're going to talk about lenses and how light passes through lenses so the first thing we need to know is a lens is a curved piece of transparent material so glass or plastic so it means that light is able to travel straight through it and we can see images through the transparent material and they look exactly the same as they would um, if we were to move that material or it allows, sorry, it allows light to, to move through. So when light passes through it, the light is refracted, causing the rays to bend. So we, we just learned about refraction, um, light moving from one medium to another, and due to um, different densities, uh, it, refraction will occur because the speed of light will either speed up or it will slow down. So I'll just throw a couple pictures in here. We have camera lens right here. Uh, we have somebody putting in a contact lens right here and then we just have various lenses here that maybe we would use uh, by chance for maybe magnifying glasses or, or, or what not. So there's a lot of different purposes for the lenses. So two types of lenses, we're going to talk about the first one, it's called double concave. Now I know I said I was going to focus mostly on double convex but I just want you to have a little background information now on concave versus convex. Uh, we talked about concave and convex mirrors and we talked about how images can be reflected through those mirrors and, and what their purposes are, maybe for security uh, mirrors in the corner of maybe a grocery store or a store of some site, maybe using the mirrors in uh, on cars or vehicles and using it for the rear view mirror. But what we're going to look at here is the lens, we're going to talk about how the uh, light will pass through a convex lens. So what's going to happen in this double concave lens, sorry, double concave lens, uh, is basically their shape, if you look here, is, is causing the light to refract and move out and spread out and disperse away. And uh, it's actually spreading out or what we call diverging. So what a double concave lens is, if you take a look at the shape, it's thinner and flatter in the middle so right in this area it's thinner and flatter than it is on the edges okay so it's actually wider right here uh, so that's what makes it concave so we just think concave and all the students right away said oh it's like the Hurley symbol yeah it is and that's a concave so what's actually happening here is lights passing through the thicker uh, more curved areas of the lens and it's going to bend more light passing through the thinner areas and that's going to cause the light to bend or spread, uh, sorry, to spread out. Or like I said, it's going to diverge. So that's just another way to say it's going to spread out. So as this light travels through, okay, as this light travels through, it's going to hit this lens and then it's going to cause through the thicker part or the thicker uh, components of the glass, it's going to cause it to bend, okay? and it's going to bend it because it's going from one medium to another and then it's passing through and remember um, <clears throat> when objects pass from a less density to a greater density it's going to bend towards normal and that's perpendicular to the surface so anyways you can see here here's another good image showing the direction and the diversion and they're diverting so just as, uh, like we say someone's running and they there's a diversion it means they lead them 
out in a different direction and this is basically moving out so if you see how a double concave lens is actually going to uh, diverge or spread out <clears throat> can you predict what a convex double convex lens is going to do next so I want you to think about that really quick so a double convex lens and hopefully your predictions were uh, somewhat accurate or you understood what's going to happen but basically this lens is thicker in the middle okay and uh, then it's actually thin around the outside edges so what that's going to do is it's going to cause light to come together at a focal point or what we call to converge so to come together at one point so this lens okay we we can see is going to be thicker in the middle and this is double convex so if it was just a con single convex it would be round on one side flat on the other and that's not flat I apologize <laughs> but it's double so if we were to split this in half we still have convex lenses on each side and this is what our eye has in it as well we're going to learn about that but if you talk about how it converges to a focal point our focal point is right here where the light converges for these different colors they're same thing if you take a look right here the light is converged and uh, you can just see right here it says focus as well and so in this double convex which is bubbling out okay the fatter in the middle and, and thinner on the outside edges the light's going to pass through and it's going to cause because we're moving from one medium and it's actually thinner it's going to cause the light to bend inward from these thin edges <clears throat> and as the light bends inward then it travels on a path that is towards normal now as it meets here at that focal point then what happens is you can actually see the image here now it's crossing over and this is what happens in our eyes because the light come, travels into our eye and then it converges at a focal point on our retina. Um, but it actually, when it comes through, it converges on a focal point and then it, it actually uh, posts the image on our retina where it meets the rods and cones to develop color, to develop shape. <clears throat> but what happens is the image is going to be upside down and we'll talk about that next. So it's important you understand the difference between double convex lens and double concave but mainly I really want you to understand that the light is going to converge which means come together to a focal point and then it's going to cross over but that focal point is where our focus comes from but at that point once we've developed the image it's going to actually flip and I'm going to show you that right now <clears throat> so if you take a look down at the bottom here I'm just talking about this image right here the candle if you just take a look at the candle we have this candle burning and it's going through a double convex lens and take a look the flame is up here but in this plain flat mirror which is going to reflect the image exactly as it's seen look at where the flame is down at the bottom now it doesn't make sense as it should be right up here but what's happening here is light is passing through but it's hitting the outside edges of this lens and then it's going to come to a focal point and then cross over okay and it's going to actually flip the image around so what's on the right side is going to now flip to the left but it's going to twist it over uh, take a look at this image here as well it's you see this image in this double or through this double convex lens but now all of a sudden the city is flipped upside down and the buildings are flipped upside down. So when we talk about some useful uh, functions of lenses, uh, we really, I, the first thing a lot of people think of is lenses and glasses for optical devices. So we eyeglasses, and eyeglasses were made as early as the 19th century to help us to see clearly. Um, so what happens here is the convex lens is actually going to refract which means the light is going to bend um, and it's going to refract the light rays from the object so they can be focused so it re retract or refracts them and then those objects or the light rays from that object are actually going to come into focus and as we use different size lenses or thickness in the middle thin and thick we're going to see that the image actually is going to, uh, it, it can lengthen. So if I was to use a 
big thick oops sorry big thick lens in the middle okay what's actually going to happen is light's going to travel through maybe I'll draw that in a different color for you folks it's going to travel through and then it's going to refract okay and then it's going to refract at a point okay okay and then it's going to move through and now the image is going to be upside down but if I was to use a thin lens okay then it will reflect the refract the light even farther away and now assume that's farther maybe assume that's 20 centimeters and that's 35 centimeters okay and it's going to refract at the focal point okay so as we change the thickness of the lens we're going to notice there's going to be a noticeable difference in the distance of the focal point okay so we'll notice that the focal point is somewhat different so it might magnify the object somewhat but as you use thick different thicknesses it's going to refract differently at this point because of the density the sheer density and the time it takes for the light to travel through that thick material we're moving from one density to another from one medium to another we're going to refract and so basically what happens is the thicker the material the more it's going to refract and the steeper the angle of refraction so the thinner it is right here like such okay we're going to see less angle so which means that the focal point is going to be farther away okay so um, if we think about how uh, light works you can say that light from the left portion of an object is directed to the right and the light from the top of the dir or directed or top is going to be directed to the bottom so that's where I see this image being flipped here okay I take from the right and it's going to end up on the left and from the top is going to end up on the bottom and we flip that image so we call that being inverted or upside down so one thing uh, we used to use in classes a lot we don't use anymore is overhead projectors and film projectors and they actually use that concept to uh, where the light is projected but they actually have to use a lens to flip the image yet again so that they can flip it right side up so anyways hopefully this helps this is a little bit of information about lenses uh, the next bit we're going to discuss is going to be on the human eye and its similarities to possibly cameras and such anyways hopefully this has helped hopefully you've taken notes and uh, good luck, and if you have any questions, please ask. Okay, thanks, guys.